Hello and welcome to Spring 3.0 Chapter 3. Uh, we are going to cover the Spring MVC web layer. Uh, in this, we first need to understand topics that we are going to discuss. It won't mean much to you to start with, but let's uh, see it anyway. Uh, the first topic will be the architecture of Spring, and then we'll see what the what dispatcher servlet means and then we'll see the request and response lifecycle and we'll dig into a little bit of details of spring mvc and then we will see the three in important parts of a spring mvc uh, that is the handler mapping the controllers and the view resolvers and uh, then we will see tags validation uh, message bundle and finally we will integrate the spring with struts and we will do a mini project and we'll try to understand this whole thing in totality so before we jump on to the technicalities and we try to understand a spring mvc we have already seen uh, chapter 0, chapter 1 and chapter 2, chapter 0 being the background of the whole web application and we also saw what is the core container and what is the spring container or sometimes we call it IOC container as well. So we saw the different ways of uh, defining beans and uh, what the spring bean factory is and what application context is. To start with, I won't dig into the technicalities, so I'll just go to the slide and I'll talk about a br bank branch use case. So when you go to a bank's branch, what do you do? So uh, you you reach to the bank's building, yeah, uh, where the bank branch is located. First you reach there uh, through the traffic and all, and then you enter the branch gate, and there can be security guard metal detector some cameras or some you might also need to sign a register and uh, then uh, once you enter the gate you reach uh, may I help you counter and there there is a staff uh, what that staff does is it uh, redirects you to a specific counter or section or desk and provides you a waiting list or something of that sort so a chat perhaps and then uh, what you do is uh, you go to the next counter and then counter staff B takes your form uh, say for example if you are withdrawing a large cash or you want the security device replacement which you use for internet banking or say for example a statement request of last six months of transactions on your credit card you fill a form and then submit it and uh, you you complete the process and then you uh, then that the staff takes that form and he processes that form and finally forwards you to the next section or counter with an advice slip for token handover or cash this uh, counter staff C uh, prints your acknowledgement or maybe your statements or hand over hands over the cash or the security device depending on the request that you did right so and uh, your task is complete you would go out the branch gate by signing the register without time and uh, then finally out of the building so that's the basic branch use case you enter the building you enter the gate you reach the may I help you counter you, that redirects you to the uh, service counter on the service counter you fill the form and you submit it there and uh, that service counter redirects you to the action counter and on that action counter you get the acknowledgement and the statements or cash or security device or whatever depending on the request and finally uh, once your task is complete you got to go out of the branch by signing the register so that's the whole use case now this is exactly what a spring MVC is let me explain you how this is how the architecture looks like. This is theoretically the same thing that we are doing in branch use case. Yeah, uh, In the branch use case, this Tomcat is your building. So uh, you, you come in, you as a customer come in, you get inside the building and then you reach the dispatcher servlet. Dispatcher is a front controller service, a single entry point to the whole application. Like in your office, you have a turnstile or you have a single security gate where you show your ID card or RFID and you swipe it and then you enter it. So that's the front controller servlet. That is the dispatcher servlet. That's like bank's gate where you have the security guard or the sign in register or the perhaps, uh, you know, metal detector or camera and then you you go to a may I help you counter this may I help you counter is handler mapping selection this decides what kind of service you need and then you are redirected to staff B the counter B where your action is actually serviced and once you, you are serviced you are redirected for the response 
right so your response you are redirected back from uh, 7 8 9 10 11 12 11 12 is nothing but your response processing there you get your statements or acknowledgement or you know handover cash or token kind of process that's the response processing so this is request processing and this is the view processing ultimately so that's your staff b and then finally you go back to the gate and you get out of the building right sound simple that's what it is that's what is a spring mvc and what is dispatcher servlet this is the bank's gate what is a controller uh, what is a handler mapping handler mapping is may i help you uh, counter what is a controller or handler interceptor handler interceptor execution chain along with controller is nothing but the request processing uh, which takes your forms and processes the business service accordingly and finally view resolver is nothing what you get as a response on your browser that is nothing but what you have requested for so that is staff c